Hi, kindergartners. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how to turn your sketch that we did on a final paper into a final artwork with um, color. And we're going to use line coming out from our photograph with yarn to draw with. We're actually going to paint with yarn. Um, so just like Harold, um, we are choosing one color. So just like Harold would have used one color, we started by first picking one of our color. It could be your favorite color. It could be um, a color that you think adds meaning to your artwork. This was our outer space artwork in which we had someone said that their favorite object was Barbie. So we brought Barbie along. We're using shape and line to complete our drawing right now. All of your drawings can be completed with just shape and line. We're using our one color to get that done because later you are going to use yarn to draw with that same color. So now I'm choosing that color and I'm finishing my artwork with my giant butterfly that I'm going to be riding on. We also said that there was going to be a spider um, on our artwork. So if you did not yet do this last week, this is your first step today. If you need a new paper, I can give you a new one if we were confused. So I'm going to finish my, remember if it's a space, there's gonna be a line that goes side to side all the way across the paper. We had a tree in the background, and we had stars because we're in outer space. So that was one of my artworks. Another one was just this one where we were walking down a path with a dog and a volcano, and we also had the park. So your artwork can have anything you can imagine in it. Now, after that today, we're going to start adding color to our work. So today we're gonna to use color. Now we're gonna use color pencils. So this is the day once you have it all drawn to say, oh, this planet, this imaginary planet's gonna be start to be filled in. And then I'm going to have this butterfly filled in with yellow. Now, it's important that we're filling it in. It's okay if you don't fill it in completely. And the reason for that is later we will be painting in the rest. So you can see I started my grass with little lines. Later I painted it in. Same thing with this butterfly. I can start this butterfly with little orange stripes. Later I can paint it. So think of how you can use lines. Maybe my tree needs some bumpy lines in the tree, but later I'm gonna paint the rest green. Maybe I use line in my tree trunk, curvy lines to show that texture. So we're kind of thinking of what types of lines we would see inside of things and adding those while we fill things up. For example, maybe this is um, on the moon and not, maybe we'll be on Mars and there's little orange spots. Who knows? You can start filling things up. Maybe my spider is not black, but maybe it's purple. So you can start using your color pencil today to choose which color from your imagination is inside of your objects. You're filling things in, almost like if it was a coloring book, but you're the creator of the coloring book. You are the artist of your own coloring book today. Now, if you got confused or you're confused about your, where you are in your artwork and you need to edit or add something, we also have erasers. So. If you need to edit something still, we can also still erase something that we don't need or want. Um, if we really need to, because we got so confused through the process, we can always um, get a new paper if needed, if we really are lost. But a lot of you are really ready to go on to the next step. So now I'm adding all the colors that I need. Maybe she has purple hair. Who knows? Now, this is where I got to today. I started filling things up. That's what you're gonna do today too. We're getting on our artwork, we're filling things up. 
because I'll give you a sneak preview of next week. Next time you come, we're going to paint. So we're going to be getting out our paint brushes. We're going to say, hmm, what color is this sky if it's outer space? Oh, it's black. I didn't need to fill it all up with my uh, color pencil last time, but now I can paint that black outer space sky in. So the reason that we um, started color today was just to get an idea of where the colors go and to get that started. But next time we're really going to start filling up our full colors all the way. So I started this tree. Now I can rinse my brush. You'll do this next time. I can paint in the rest. I'm going to rinse my brush. Get my tree shrunk color. I'm painting in the rest. So we're going to paint the rest next time. But today, just like I did with this one, today we're just going to get the color started on our drawing. And then eventually, once we're done painting, you're going to paint with yarn and get some of these lines done with your yarn color on your work. All right. Have a wonderful art class. Um, finish your monochromatic one color drawing first, whatever color you chose of your place. Then you're going to add color pencil to start filling up your drawing. And then later we're going to finish it with painting to really get it filled in. All right. Have a great art class. I'll see you next time.